back in the mountains with uh, Daniel Hughes, who earlier this month was the first to make a video call from the top of Mount Everest. This is the world's first live video call. Never been done before from the, uh, the rooftop of the world, and I'm just panning around here. Hopefully it's not too windy. I've got to introduce my Sherpa here. I wouldn't be here without Tendi. He's been helping me for the last few days. Uh, the Sherpas, no one would get to top of these mountains without them. Yes! He's here! Congratulations! Thank you very much. It's nice Thank to you. have you here. Now, in the past few weeks, though, 520 people have reached the summit. I mean, one person being an 80 year old man, one was a one legged woman. So, some would say, is it easier these days? How did you find it? Would you do it again? Well, my mission was to put the first one of those on top of my Everest, so I was yeah. absolutely focused on that. And I really need people to donate. I'm trying to get a pound for a million people, what's called the Everest Million Campaign. Everestmillion.com is where you need to go, so had to plug that, obviously. Um, yeah, it was, it was very similar in many ways in that we were following the same footsteps. You're still in the same environment, the wind, the conditions, we're still on oxygen. Um, in some ways it's easier because of the technology, but in, in many ways it's harder because actually yeah. when Hillary and Tenzing, which were, they were absolute heroes by the way, um, they were there, just two of them with a rope and some ice axes, mm. uh, whereas we were there in a queue and there was about 50 people ahead of me and you're thinking, well, is the oxygen going to run out? Yeah. Is this is some of your yeah. footage, isn't it, that I think that we're looking yeah. at here. So you didn't just take up uh, the equipment to make that video call, you, you took a little camera. Yeah, so, I mean, it was all done from a, from a smartphone, wow. a pole. Um, I, I use a satellite modem, a numerous satellite modem. Um, but there's so, no way to charge your batteries, is there? No, so I was, carrying, I was hauling loads of kit, like solar panels, batteries, keeping everything warm. Uh, Tundu helped me as well. He ca helped carry some of the stuff. So that's why it's never been done before, because actually most climbers, they'll, they want to carry as little as possible. Yeah. And here I, here I am with like an extra 10 kilos of kit and to, try and, to try and get this on top of red nose. Yeah. There's a lot of people taking a lot of stuff. I mean, some of the, some of the shots of the, of the queues of people. It's yeah, crazy. yeah. I mean, look at that, the line. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty big queue. I think that might have been from last year. It wasn't quite as bad as that, oh. but yeah. yeah, still on the, the day I summited, 140 yeah. people summited. Well, listen, huge congratulations. Yeah, huge you got there. You've you got the red nose, and I'm, I'm sure pledging. red toes and red hands as Absolutely. well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks for all of the photos that you've been sending in. Have you conquered your own Everests? This is uh, Rachel Gorton from Rugby after she just climbed uh, the, a knife edge ridge. There we go, look. North Wales, brilliant. And this is uh, Charlie Kempton. She's eight on top of Mount Snowden. Have yeah. a quick look at Ellen Garrod. Look at this. <gasps> 16,500 feet, look, in New Zealand. Right. Brilliant. brilliant. There we are. Yes, tomorrow the actress Celia Imrie will be here and it's up to you, New York is up now. Cheers, Thank Des. you very much. Thanks, Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>